Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. I know it's been a while since I put out a video, and I know what some of you may be thinking now. Matthew, what the hell are you doing sitting in a Gen 3 Raptor? Well, I'm going to get into that story uh, later, but jump back to my last video. I think it was beginning of February. I was selling my M2, and I had probably halfway through the video mentioned that some of the vehicles I was looking at next was either a Gen 2 or a Gen 3 Raptor. Now at that time, I had no idea I would be able to get my hands on a uh, Gen 3 anytime soon. As you all know, if you're looking for one, uh, incredibly hard to get. I'm going to save that full story for later on the video. I'll talk about that some more. If you're interested in that, stick around for that. But first things first, I just want to jump right into introducing you guys to my 2021 Gen 3 Ford Raptor. <laughs> Alright guys, it's super windy out here, so I'm going to apologize in advance if you're going to have any trouble uh, hearing the audio on this, but uh, here she is, my Gen 2021 Gen 3 Raptor. I uh, absolutely love this thing. I've had it about uh, two weeks now. As I mentioned, I'll get to the full story of that, uh, of how I came to own this uh, later on in the video. So I'll do a later video where I do a more kind of in-depth tour and go over uh, you know, everything in the truck and all the specs and stuff. Uh, but for right now, I just want to kind of show you guys real quick uh, the spec I got and some of the things on the truck. Uh, that I think are cool so far. Alright, so as I mentioned, this is a 2021. This was a uh, dealer ordered spec, so I didn't get to pick the options. Uh, but luckily, this is pretty much exactly as I would have expected from the factory. Uh, I know there is the option to get the 37 package uh, to bump these up to 37 inch tires. Uh, I'm happy with the 35s mainly because on the 2021s, you didn't have the option to get the 37s without also getting the blue seats, which I'm not a fan of. Um, as you can see, we'll jump into the cab here. Uh, this came with the black seats, which I really like. Um, the only downside is with the, um, the blue Recaros, you do get the Raptor uh, logo here on the, the armrest, which is pretty cool. Um, also, this has the uh, fold-down workspace, which I think is a pretty cool option. Um, this is the 801. This is the 801A package, so it's pretty much fully loaded. I got the panoramic sunroof, which is a nice option. It comes with these massive metal paddles, which I'm a big fan of. Um, the only thing is they don't shift like super fast, like in a, a sports car or anything, but it's still cool that they're uh, there, and that's an option if you want to use them. So with black for the color, which is the one uh, I would have chosen, I did see at the same time this came in, the same dealership also got a 2022 in code orange and I gotta say I'm not an orange guy but that color actually looked really good uh, on the Raptor so if you guys get a chance to check one of those out uh, take a look because it's uh, it's pretty cool looking so you can see the big selling point on the Raptor is the suspension it's got the uh, Fox shocks in the back here uh, the big 35 inch tires which make the ride uh, super comfortable so if you guys watch my other videos previous to this, you know, before I had an X3M as a daily driver, I actually ended up trading that in for uh, this, so that's uh, no longer going to be on the channel. This is the new uh, channel vehicle. And while I really like the X3M, 
Uh, fitting a family in it is, is doable, but it's just a little bit tight. Um, so that's one of the big selling points on the Raptor for me. It's just such a, such a comfortable family vehicle, just because there's no, so much room inside and also such a comfortable ride. So what have I done to this truck so far? Um, with it being a black truck, uh, as you guys know, if you have a black vehicle, it's really hard to, to keep clean. So I actually did a ceramic coating on it uh, to kind of help with that. Um, I use the, uh, the Avalon Kings uh, product and I put that on uh, about a week ago and so far it's worked uh, really good. It's just, you know, every couple days I'll do kind of a wipe down with uh, some detail spray or something. Uh, keeps, the, keeps it looking really nice and shiny and pretty much new. Uh, we'll see how the, uh, the ceramic coat kind of holds up over time. Uh, the other thing I did was add on this Retrax uh, bed cover which makes it nice for if you're hauling uh, groceries or uh, bags in the back and stuff like that. So as I said, Kansas here in springtime, it's always super windy. So I'm going to jump back in the, the cab here so it's a little easier for me to talk to you guys. So I didn't order this truck, as I said. How was I even able to come to uh, own this uh, Gen 3 Raptor? So ever since they announced the, uh, the new Gen 3s, uh, I've been a big fan of kind of the changes they did, and spe specifically in the uh, interior. I had test driven a Gen 2 before, uh, and that was really the only big downside was the interior and then the other thing was the exhaust didn't sound that great. I mean it was okay, uh, but they really made it sound a lot better than this Gen 3. And the interior, I mean it's almost like a uh, luxury car. So they made this way more comfortable, uh, way more appealing. Um, you know, on-road driving, it feels, to me, a lot more comfortable than the uh, Gen 2 that I drove. So to me, this feels like a huge upgrade over the Gen 2 in almost every way. Uh, Gen 2 is great, but um, just the, you know, the evolution they made with, with this truck, I, I think they, they just knocked it out of the park uh, in pretty much every way. So I have a, a local Ford dealer that's just down the street from my house. I had actually bugged them back in, it was like end of November, beginning of December, um, started asking, um, they had a couple of Raptors on their site, it looked like they had uh, dealer orders coming in, uh, so I started bugging a uh, salesman there, if you guys are looking for a Ford, it's Victory Ford in Kansas City, Kansas. I used Alex, he, he did a great job hooking me up, uh, so really appreciate that. So like I said, I started bugging him at the end of last year, this truck was built um, but hadn't shipped yet because it was just you know sitting there waiting on chips as as are a lot of things So I went up to visit the dealership uh, That's when I I'd, I'd went in test drove a gen 2 just kind of see what it was all about You know I made sure and let him know that hey whenever those do roll off the trucks and I had no idea what it was gonna be uh, Give me a call because I'm definitely interested uh, in purchasing one of those so we go through January February, you know March. I hadn't heard uh, anything, um, you know, kind of in March, I was, I'd kind of given up. I'd, I just kind of figured they already kind of came and went and they didn't give me a call, uh, which was a bummer, but um, not totally unexpected because these, these things are a hot commodity and it's, it's super hard to get a hold of one. Even if you get an allocation and order, you're going to be waiting for a long time. So to my surprise, the last week of March, I get a text from uh, Alex at the dealership letting me know, hey, this truck arrived. If you're interested, um, you should come up and see it and, uh, you know, jump on it quickly. And I knew I knew from that point I was going to have, you know, a very short time period to decide if I wanted it or not. Um, I, I figured, you know, 24 hours and that thing was going to be gone. So uh, I got up to the dealership right away. Um, did a test drive and you know at that point I was sold because this thing is is awesome and you know as much as I'm gonna miss my x3 and the performance on that car is insane it's really nice having just a big comfortable uh, family vehicle again that's also quite fun I mean the you put the exhaust on Baja mode and uh, this thing is so loud and it's it's fun to just kind of tear around town in so I will miss the X3M and um, I'll talk about more kind of channel updates uh, back at the office. So let's head back. So I started this channel just about a year ago. It was the end of April 2021. Uh, I just checked and looked like we just went over 400 subscribers, which is amazing. I mean, to be honest, I never thought we'd get uh, anywhere close to that. So the fact that we're we're that high, you know, after about a year, 
I'm very pleased with that and just want to thank all you guys for subscribing. So if you guys watched some of the previous videos, you will know me and my wife had a new baby back at the end of August last year. Uh, so my posting's gotten a little sporadic since then. Having a newborn in the house um, uh, makes it a little tough to keep up with this because it's, uh, you know, YouTube's a pretty uh, time-consuming hobby. Um, but hoping this year I'll be able to jump back uh, more into it. So just reviewing, you know, the last year uh, of the channel, there's been lots of change over time. Uh, and I'll get some more update videos out there to show you guys kind of what's been going on behind the scenes um, while I haven't been posting. So in 2021, I um, actually ended up buying uh, three vehicles for the channel. We had first the Gladiator, then the uh, M2 Competition, then the X3M. Uh, currently all three of those vehicles are now gone. So we've really switched it up where we've got the Raptor. Uh, and then, you know, speaking of those three vehicles, uh, I bought those last year. My wife didn't really drive, like driving uh, any of those. So I kind of ordered one um, and I got, ended up getting her just like a three row. Uh, family SUV um, Jeep, which she really likes. It's a Grand Cherokee L. Uh, I'll do a video, video kind of introducing that. It's not super interesting, um, but it is a new model. So some, some of you guys might be interested in it and kind of see uh, what, what it's all about. So as I've said, you know, the X3M is gone. Uh, really love that vehicle. Performance was awesome. Um, but as I mentioned, the Raptor is going to be the main channel vehicle going forward. Um, I'm going to do a bunch of videos. You guys let me know um, anything specific you're curious about it. Um, you know, put your questions in the comments below. I'll do my best to, to answer them and kind of do uh, video reviews on the stuff um, that you guys are curious about. So I've had it for two weeks, uh, loving it, super comfortable, uh, lots of fun to drive and looks fantastic. It was a little bit of adjustment because it's quite large compared to the x ray as you might guess. So driving around the, the suburbs, uh, kind of got a bit of a bit of an adjustment for it being quite a bit bigger vehicle, but uh, loving it so far. So this weekend, actually, I'm taking a long uh, road trip for Easter to go back and see some family. Um, so I'll be posting uh, kind of my impressions of uh, that as a road trip vehicle after we finish that. And as I said, today was just kind of a quick introduction to the Raptor. I'm going to do another video going more in depth, giving a full tour of kind of everything on the truck and showing you guys all the um, options that I got and some of the cool, cool tech features. I'm pretty sure I could probably divide that up into a few different videos because there's um, there's just so much on the truck and I'm still, you know, finding st new stuff uh, here, you know, after I've had it for a couple weeks. So I'm sure I'm going to keep finding stuff. All right, so that's where we're going to wrap up today's video. As always, appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you in the next one.